For an arty party, we're in the party pad. It's the perfect place for a party. So let's get arty. It's the mini makers. <laughs> All right then, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party. Here we go. We're gonna have a party and look who I've invited The shapes and scraps He's so excited All the mini makers are partying too But most importantly We invite you! It's great to see you, my friend. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Hmm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? Over you come, Lenny Makers. Come on, my friends. That's it. Now, have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party's going to be about today. Sunflowers. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. Look! What are they? Wedding boots! That's right, it's my very muddy boots. Because today we're going to have a party in the countryside! Yeah! <laughs> hey, 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 it's Scraps! <laughs> Hello, Scraps. Would you like me to bail you out of that? <laughs> oh. an arty party picture. What should we use today? Stickers, paper, glue, paint, tissue paper. Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. In fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get arty at our party and make brilliant countryside flowers with a busy bee buzzing around. But first, we'll need some things from... That's right! We'll need a washing up brush and a paint brush. Lots of coloured paint. A cow. Doodle tube, we don't need a toy cow. How a moosing. And we'll need some stickers, a pen, and a glue stick. <laughs> Mini makers, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in our background paper or card. Now we're going to make some beautiful flowers, and we're going to do that with an old washing up brush. So, Lily, would you mind passing me that brush? Thank you very much. It's nice and clean now, and I'm going to dip it in the first colour. You get lots of paint on your brush, and then push it on, like that. And when you take away the brush, wow. it looks really good, doesn't it? 
Now we can choose a different colour. First of all, we need to clean the brush off over here. I'm giving it a good clean. Now let's do another colour. I think white will be nice here. Down and push. <laughs> and how about a pink flower too? And now we need to use some paint to paint on the stalks and the grass. Now, we need something to fly above our flowers. What should we put on our picture? A bee! A bee! And we can do that by using an oval shape of paper. And I've used a pen to draw on a head and some stripes. Oh, could I have some glue, please? Thank you very much. Let's put some glue on the back and then stick it on. There, we've got our bee's body, and now we need to give it some eyes. These nice round stickers will work really well. And we can use a pen to add small dots for pupils. Now, our bee is missing something. What is it? The wings! <laughs> That's right, the wings. So we can make wings out of small pieces of newspaper like this. I'll put some glue on it and then stick it on. That was one wing. And now let's stick down the second wing. There, our bee's looking brilliant. Do you like it, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm glad that you like the picture because now you've got to make your very own arty party picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Arty apron! Yeah! Because it's time to... Start! has started a very colourful picture. This one's an unusual shape. How did you print that? I used a shoe brush. A shoe brush? You've done a great job so far. And it makes me wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty ideas about the countryside? Let's find out. Beatrix Potter was born in London and loved painting in watercolours. Each year, she would leave the city and spend her holidays in the countryside. Mustn't forget the most important things. My paints and brushes. Oh. OK, holiday, here I come. Oh. Phew, that was quick. Whilst on holiday, she would send letters to friends and finish them off with quick drawings. One holiday, she was about to write to a friend called Noel when she realised she had a big problem. Oh no! I write to Noel so much, I don't know what to say. But then she had a brilliant idea. That's it! I'll write a story instead. <laughs> So Beatrix wrote a tale about four little rabbits whose names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. My dear Noel, I don't know what to write you, so I will tell you a story about four little rabbits. She added lots of drawings to the story and was very pleased with it. All done. Right. Off to the post office. <laughs> In fact, she liked it so much, she decided to turn her story and drawings into a very famous book called The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Eventually, Beatrix decided to move to the countryside, where she wrote many more books and drew lots of pictures of the characters she'd created. Wow, I didn't realise that Beatrix Potter came up with the ideas for her stories from what she saw in the countryside. Interesting. Now let's see how the Mini Makers are getting on. <laughs> wow, it's a very colourful countryside here that Jake has started painting. What have you got in your picture? Down here I've got um, a snail. Over here I've got a butterfly and also I got a ladybird. Very good, Jake. 
Trinity, this is a tremendous picture. What creatures have you got above your flowers? I've got a bee and a ladybird and a fly. Oh, brilliant. And what are they doing? They're playing ladybird in the middle. Ladybird in the middle. It's a new game and I love it. Well done, Trinity. Lily, that is an unusual sun, but I love it. And this stands out as well. What's this in the corner? It's a butterfly. It's a beautiful butterfly. And, and I can hear snoring. It sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? The That's right, it's the shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three. Wake <laughs> is circle making. Can you guess? That's right, it's a cockerel. Fantastic circle. It's time to get back on the shelf. To make a brilliant scribble sheep like this, use a pen to make lots of scribbles for the body. And now add a sticker for the face. Smaller stickers for feet. And carefully cut another sticker in half to make ears. Finally, add two stickers for the eyes and draw pupils with a pen. Brilliant! Well done, Scraps! What a super sheep! And you can make any scribble pictures you like. Anna, what have you made for your fantastic picture? I have made a caterpillar. How many legs has it got? 22. 22 legs! That's amazing! And what colours did you use? Green and a red. Green and red? And what did you use for the caterpillar's head? I used a green sticker. Very nice indeed. It looks brilliant. A very colourful caterpillar. Jack, this is a great picture. What have you made, my friend? I've made a scribbly bird's nest picture. That is very cool. Look at those. Got a blue one, a yellow one and a pink one. And they've all got spiky hair, just like me. This is a very colourful picture here. What a great countryside. What sort of tree is this, Angel? It's an apple tree. An apple tree? Wow, they look really tasty. And down the bottom here, you've used some more yellow stickers for... Flowers. It's a beautiful countryside. Well done. Well done, all the Mini Makers. And now, for something completely different, follow me. Follow me, Mini Makers, this way. Over here, my friends. Come on. Now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's mini makers making? <laughs> a 
any ideas? What do you think it could be? sound is very exciting. It means it's time for... Another Tea Party Game! Yay! So it's over to Party Cab to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go. <laughs> it's Uma! Yay! Who's next? Let's find out. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! Mr. Maker had a farm, and I've also got a very big problem. Some crows are pecking at my fields, so I need a scarecrow. Mini Makers, today's game is called Scarecrow A Go Go, and you've got to build me a scarecrow that looks a little bit like that one over there. But of course, you're going to make a really big scarecrow. You're going to make it over here on my big farm using all of these boxes and these colourful arty bits and bobs. Now, Bakari and Uma, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you're going to have to be really quick. You must finish building that scarecrow before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, ready, steady. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Very good, mate. What's next? We need to put the body of the scarecrow on, I think. That's it, that's it. Yes! Well done, Bakari. Brilliant, well done. <laughs> Well done! That was fantastic! Are you making the face over there? Yeah, very cool. Planting all the corn now. That's it, here comes the head. Oh, and I think we've just about got enough time for his hat. You can do it! <laughs> Yay! Time is up! Mini makers Bakari and Uma, you have built a super scarecrow. And that's what I call a scarily good scarecrow. <laughs> well done, but now it's time to tidy up. So go on, you get started and I'll come and help you. We've had a brilliant arty party today. <laughs> we got really creative in the country, making flowery pictures and scribble pictures we found out that Beatrix Potter got arty ideas in the countryside. And we made a giant bird scarer when we played Scarecrow a Go Go. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Go for go! Yes, that's right. Our party's over. But your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye.